Okay everyone, today I'm going to be testing if pure water has a taste. So on Twitter, the Sunflower Queen said, is water really tasteless? And if so, how can we prove this theory? Well, I've wanted to do a video about this for a while and this is the perfect question to do that. Is water really tasteless? Well, the best way to prove it is for me to drink some type two deionized water. So this may seem like an easy question right off the bat, but it actually may have a different answer than you think. So before I do this, to understand the results, first let's talk about how taste works. So on your tongue, you have about 10,000 taste buds. So on your tongue, you have about 10,000 taste buds. And those taste buds can sense five different tastes. And those are sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and savory umami. So in order to taste something, your food has to dissolve into your saliva, and then those small molecules like sugar or salt, they dissolve into your taste buds and get absorbed in there, and they attach to taste receptors. And once they've attached there, that's when you get the sensation of taste. But it turns out that water doesn't have any taste receptors. So it should mean that water doesn't taste like anything, right? Well, actually wrong. For example, one scientist named Linda Bartoshuk, she exposed people's tongues to a continuous concentration of 0.5% table salt. And after around one minute, she stopped the test and then she had them drink water that had 0.5% sodium chloride in it or salt. And the people weren't able to tell that there was any salt in there. So their tongue had adapted to the environment of a 0.5% concentration of salt so they weren't able to taste salt after that. And there's some other weird results of this test. One of the results is, if you do the same thing, you expose somebody's tongue to 0.5% salt for a minute, and then you take a break, and then you expose them to a higher concentration, let's say 2% concentration, then that 2% concentration actually tastes saltier than it would have if you just exposed them to the 2% concentration right off the bat. So basically, once you're adapted to a specific taste, and then you increase the concentration of that taste, it will actually taste more intense than if you hadn't been adapted to the taste. And that's kind of counterintuitive, actually. It would seem like it would be less. And then also the opposite of that is true. Once you've been exposed to 0.5% salt for a minute, and then you take a break, and then you drink a lower concentration of that, it actually has a different taste altogether. It doesn't even taste salty, but it tastes like something different. And that study should come at no surprise to you if you know that your spit actually contains salt. So every person has become specifically adapted to the saliva in their mouth so that they don't taste it anymore. But what happens if you reduce the concentration of the saliva? Well, then you taste something altogether different. So that's one of the reasons why bottled water has a taste. So when I taste water, it does have a specific taste. I would say it tastes like water. So that means I can taste it even though there are no specific taste buds for water on my tongue. But the reason I can taste it is because I changed the concentration of salt on my tongue and so I'm tasting something different altogether and it's a different perception as though water itself has a taste. And your spit doesn't just have salt like sodium in it, it also has magnesium, it has calcium in it, it has all these different minerals that you find in bottled water. And so that may be why some people like specific bottled waters more than other people. It may have to do with the chemical makeup of your specific saliva makes water taste different to one person than it does to another person. So the more closely a specific bottled water chemical makeup is to your saliva, the less taste it's going to have. But the purer the water, the less dissolved ions it has in it, the more bitter or different tasting the water is going to taste to you. So in general, a bottled water has around 20 milligrams per liter of sodium in it. But what if I were to get something much purer than this, 4,000 times purer than this? like deionized water. How different will deionized water taste than just regular bottled water? So this is type two deionized water. So it has only around five parts per billion of sodium in it. So this is extremely pure water. In fact, some people say that deionized water is even dangerous to drink. That's because it's so pure that whatever it touches leaches all of the chemicals into the water. So through osmosis, it draws chemicals and ions out of whatever it's touching into the water because it's so pure. So in order to quench my curiosity, I'm gonna answer two questions. What does deionized water taste like? And does it hurt you to drink it? So this is as far as I'm gonna get from the concentration of my saliva. So let's see if it tastes bitter or way different than just bottled water. Okay, here we go. 
I'm a little nervous. Who would have thought I'd be nervous to drink water? Hmm, not bad actually. It's actually a pleasant taste. So it tastes a tiny little bit more bitter than regular water. It does make my mouth feel a little dry afterwards, which is kind of weird. I feel like my mouth is more dry after drinking the DI water than before I drink it. So finally, I think that I'd actually enjoy drinking bottled water more than deionized water, but it's not a great taste difference. It's not that big of a taste difference. It's a little bit more bitter, but it's not like it's burning my mouth, but it's not like it's burning my mouth. Okay, so actually this is me the next day and I can tell you that it did actually hurt my tongue. So what it does feel like, it feels like I've either eaten something that's really sour and I have inflamed taste buds, or it kind of feels like when you've drunk something that's too hot and you've burned your tongue a little bit. So essentially I feel like I have a burned tongue the next day. And it's not really bad, not really painful, it's a little bit uncomfortable. And basically I think what it did is kill a little bit of layer of the surface of my tongue. And the reason it does that is because the water is so pure that there's a big difference in the concentration of ions in the cell and outside of the cell. And so the water wants to drive itself into the cell and so much water goes into the cell that it swells up and bursts. And one more thing before I go, if you enjoyed this video and you generally like watching videos on my channel, then you'll love Brilliant.org. So Brilliant.org is a cool problem-solving website that teaches you how to think like a scientist and a physicist. So you can dive in and solve easy to challenging problems in their guided sequences on their website. So to support the Action Lab, go to Brilliant.org slash the Action Lab to sign up for free. But if you'd like to sign up for their premium subscription, the first 200 people that click the link in my description will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So click the link in my description to head over to brilliant.org today. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did like it and you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. And you can hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out. And leave me any comments or questions that you have in the comments section. Also any video suggestions that you have and I'll try to get to them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.